definitely all over it. Come, come. Well, it's a little wet and uh, chilly out this morning, but we're out here on the boardwalk. We're gonna try to get mangrove tree crabs. Hopefully we get enough mangrove tree crabs. Uh, if not, then we'll go underneath the, the pier, try to get mud crabs. We're gonna try to get some uh, sheep's head. Probably the only, the, only, the only species we can target today in this uh, cold, um, wet morning. Got ourselves a good size mangrove tree crab right there. Let's put them in the cup. Let's try to get more of these. These are pretty good bait. These guys are moving pretty slow because it's a little chilly out. Oh, got me. These guys will pinch you. <laughs> Look at that, man. That kind of hurt a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. Look at that guy. He, oh, he's, he heard me. I don't think I got him. Got him now. <laughs> he's fast, but he's not fast enough today. You know, when it's chilly like this, these guys tend to move a little bit slower, so you're able to get them. Uh, usually these guys are super fast, especially on a, on a really hot day. All right, guys, just getting rigged up right now. That's what I'm using, size number one, Gorilla Light. That way I don't have to use split shot or anything like that, just straight free lining. Get one of those out, tie a loop knot, and we're gonna send one of the mangrove tree crabs that we caught down along these pilings. See what happens, see if they're here. We skipped the, the mud crab, because there were a lot of people fishing off that pier. So, but we got plenty, plenty mangrove tree crabs. Pretty good size. All right, let's head to the bridge and hopefully they're chewing today. Hopefully they're down there. Let's go. These sheep's head are stacked up right next to these, uh, these pilings here. We're gonna send our first bait down there. Let's see. It's dropping it straight down actually. There's a, a few on that piling right there. No way, still out going? You gotta be kidding me, it's all going. Oh my god, giant, giant, guys, freaking giant sheep here, I just took it. Oh my goodness, he was not hooked. He was a freaking tank. Let's send another crab down there. Man, as soon as I dropped that bait down, he swam straight toward it. See if they're there. Oh my god, giants right here. Freaking giants just stacked up. Oh look, look, he went after it, he went after it. Oh, he took it, he took it, no way, he took it. Got him. Oh my god. That is a solid sheep right there, man. Look at that. He smoked it. He freaking smoked that crab. <laughs> He's got a little hump on his head. I feel like eating sheep's head today. I'm gonna keep him. Stoked, man. Let's try to get some more though. Probably gonna get like two, two more and we should be good. But uh, we'll keep fishing and just release the rest. All right, I had to tie on a new hook because the other hook, I had to bend it out of his mouth because it was in there pretty good. But we're just gonna tie a of improved clinch knot. I think they'll, they'll still hit the other uh, crab. I think they're fired up today. Still a smaller crab down there. This guy has three legs. All right, let's send him down there. Oh, big one, big one. No way, he took it, he took it, he took it. Jeez, that was a giant that went for it. We're going through the crabs right now, man. We gotta get one. Gotta get one to commit. Right here. Got him. Stuck him. Big. Another big one, man. Look at that. <laughs> I mean, these fish are so thick out here. That's a fat one there, man. Heck yeah. Two. Two sheep's head. Solid sheep. Look at that. These fish are so thick, guys. I mean, the two fish I caught earlier, they're just fat. Solid sized sheep. Good eating size. 
We're gonna send the smallest crab down there. See if they'll take that. Big one. Oh my god, look at that one. No, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. Oh, he didn't see it. He didn't see it. Oh, he swam towards it. He swam toward it. He ate it. He ate it. Big. Look at this one. Look at this one, guys. Look at that. That is a tank of a sheepy right there, man. Got him right on the corner of the mouth where it's supposed to be. Nice. Nice. Nice fish right here, man. He's full of energy. I mean, just hooked him, brought him up in like less than 30 seconds. Look at that. Tank. Tank of a sheepy. Heck yeah. We're actually gonna let this guy go. I mean, we got two already in the bucket, putting this guy back, but we're gonna put him back elsewhere. Um, probably further down there. All right, we're gonna put him back like straight down right here. That guy gets to live. Man, he, these, these fish are thick across the back. Good size. Got that guy on the smallest mangrove crab we got. We're gonna send another one down there. Sometimes you don't even need that many crabs to catch these uh, convicts. Oh, well. Wow. <laughs> oh man, these guys are on fire today. Another good one there. Not as big as the last one I caught, but that's a keeper if you wanted to keep him. Easily 12 inches right there. They gotta be at least 12 inches, but we're gonna put this guy back in the water. He's definitely all over it. Come, come, oh no, no, no. Oh, he got me around the piling. <sighs> come back, come, th come this way. Come back this way, come back this way, come back this way, come back this way. Oh no, did I lose him? There's no way I lost him. Come back this way. Oh, he broke me off. We just pulled up to this pier. About to clean up these fish really quick. Let's do them one, one at a time. So what we're gonna do is the usual cut behind pectoral fin. Cut behind the pectoral fin and just run that knife down the dorsal fin. We're gonna leave the skin on since we're gonna cook them skin side down on the uh, actual coal. There's a filet right there. We'll clean this up in a little bit. We're gonna put in the, put in the cooler for now. Let's do the same thing on the other side. Cut behind the pectoral fin, run that knife. Down the dorsal fin. I know some guys like to lift the, uh, the scales up like that and then just push that through and just go down like that. But whatever, whatever works for you really, same deal. I mean, this is not even a, a filleting knife right here. It's a, it's a boning knife. <laughs> Definitely gotta have a proper filleting knife when filleting these fish, but this will work since we're just gonna leave the skin or the scales on. There it is. We'll clean that up in a little bit, but let's get the, uh, let's get the bones off him. Looks good right there, boneless. Let's do the same to the other one. Throw that one out. There it is. Two sheep's head. I could have kept the other one, but that's all right. Four fillets, plenty. Clean fillets right here. Let's um, let's wash them up right over there. All right. Pretty clean sheep's head fillets right here. All right. Let's go cook them up. Got the grill all set up. We're gonna season the fish first before we start the grill. That way. The seasoning can uh, soak in a little bit. Nice looking fillets right there. I'm excited, super stoked. We're gonna start off with this uh, $15 seasoning right here. This is the, the Cajun seasoning from Pepper Palace. Oh, I forgot olive oil on these fillets. 
Let's do that first. A little drizzle, and then we'll just rub it in a little bit. That way these fillets, uh, the seasonings stick on them better. Let's put a little bit of uh, smoked paprika, and then we're gonna rub all the seasonings together. Chili powder, oh yeah. A little bit of black pepper. Okay, here we go. Make sure all the seasonings are in there real good. We're about to start up the grill here, making a little pyramid. Got this tumbleweed uh, fire starter. That way we don't use the, um, the gasoline, but here we go. All right, looks like the coals are about to be ready. Maybe just a little bit longer. Actually, I could just lay the grill on top so it heats it up. Actually, we don't really need to heat up the grill because we're gonna put the skin side down. So it's ready to go. Let's spread out these coals. There we go. Oh yeah. Lay this down. And now we can lay this down, the fillets. Oh yeah. One more plate left. Ooh, that's hot. Woo. Let's lay this right here, actually. There we go. Now we let, we let them cook for like, I wanna say, 15 to 20 minutes. I am stoked, man. It's gonna taste so good. I just love Cajun fish. It's been about like 10 minutes. Let's take a look. Ooh, that's looking real good already. It might be done. We're gonna let it sit for another, I wanna say five more minutes. I think it's about done now, look at that. That's looking real good. Dang, man. Sheep's head on a half shell. Too bad we don't have any sides to go with it, but it'll still be good, man. My mouth is watering right now. Can, cannot wait to try it. Yeah, I think it's almost done. We're gonna give it like two more minutes just to be safe. <laughs> All right, I think that's, that's done, man. I'm hungry. Oh yeah, that's looking. Let's, let's test it out first here. I have my fork right here. Let's see, it's gotta be done, man. Oh yeah. Look at that, guys. Dang, man. That looks really good. <sighs> yes, sir. And I bled them too, so. All right, they're done. Let's put them on the plate. Unprepared, last minute plan right here. I mean, when I first caught that that sheep's head, I was like, this looks really good. I feel like eating sheep's head. And here we are. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oof. Yes, sir. Look at that, guys. Let me know what you think. Comment below if you'd eat that. <laughs> mm, that smells really good. You can smell the um, the smokiness of the cherry wood pellets. All right, here we go. Taste test. Look at that. Wow. That is amazing. Mmm, man. Sheep's head. Never thought it would taste this good. That is insanely good. You can taste the, uh, the smoky wood pellets. Wow. Hands down. Probably my favorite way to cook sheep's head from now on right here. I mean, look at that. It just comes off that um, skin. You guys have to try this. You gotta try it. It's so good. Probably my, like I said, this is probably gonna be the only way I'm gonna cook sheep's head from now on. This is amazing. I mean, I didn't, I didn't even put much at all. Literally, I just put Cajun seasoning, black pepper, 
smoked paprika, and chili powder. We're gonna finish up this plate here. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys wanna see more videos like this, um, let me know in the comment section down below. I do like doing catch and cook. So we're definitely gonna have to do this more often in the near future, so stay tuned for that. Hope you guys like it. If you guys did, hit that like button, hit that bell notification, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one.